Ready? Draw! Stay tuned for Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling! Where seldom is heard A discouraging word and the grills are all fired up today. <laughs> oh. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Barrel's Midwest Grill. And I'll tell you what, we're having a great time here today. It's old western set. Oh, hey, yeah. wait a minute, what happened with that draw we had here? Well, okay. well here, let me show you mine. See, I thought that's pretty neat, hold on. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Mad Dog and Barrel's Midwest Grill, and that's pretty sharp. I think it oh, is. Yeah, How are you gonna beat that? I I'll show you who can beat this, Freddie. You'll love this one. <laughs> oh, what? wow. Oh my goodness! Huh? That Am might, I good or what? That's huh? Going up. Huh? You can't be quicker than old Merrill here, like by the golly. Regular Moni. <laughs> regular Moni. <laughs> oh, the one wow. thing I don't have is no Moni either. Yeah, I got no Moni. <laughs> hey, we are at Doc's Harley Davidson on Highway 29, west of Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, Bondewell. That's right. In Bondewell, Wisconsin. Yeah. Freddie, 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 you know, in the old west. And years ago, they had different forms of pain for like the, the, the fees for services. Okay. So there were beads and there was garlic and there was oils and herbs and things like that. Right. Here's your salary for the day, sir. <laughs> hey, you're in good shape, Freddie. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Oh, well, I only meant to give you me. four. <laughs> <laughs> Do your wall or cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, gotta be a long show. <laughs> we are in a beautiful old western type stage. This is a western sort of show with Mad Dog and Mills. Yes, it is, sir. Grilling. Just because, right? Hey, that's why we do this. Just yeah. because, exactly right. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, behind us here we have our beautiful uh, uh, Memphis wood fire grill. It's a pellet grill. If you're going to be in the market for a pellet grill, let me tell you this. If you don't get a Memphis, you're going to be disappointed. I've got my baby cranked up. I'm going to be doing some uh, four different types of chicken on the grill. We're going to do some nice rubs on the, on chicken four different ways. I got, I got my baby fired up to 515 degrees. There's two convection ovens in here right now that are firing up. So I have an actual convection oven with the pellet smoke. I've got hickory on one side. I've got apple on the other side. I put in both bins on the back. So they feed together. It is a beautiful grill. Check out the Memphis pellet grills if you would, please. I agree with you 100%. So sir. here we are. Here we are. Okay. Uh, Mad Dog and Merrill are proud to announce that we have uh, some great new products. Some 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 of our older products that have been around a while that are delicious that we couldn't necessarily take away. That's for sure. <laughs> right. uh, but here's fat free, sodium free, cholesterol free, and no MSG. Uh, beautiful four spices seasonings or rubs, whichever way you want to use them because they're sodium free, right. you can use them as a rub. Yeah, that's what's great about it. So, so in front of me right now, I've got the chicken drummies and, and, our, and one of our first and, our, and my, one of my, they're all delicious in their own sort of way. This is called Citrus Twist and it's got the, the, the onion, the garlic, the lemon, the lime, and of course uh, 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 some great citrus in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime over the top. We're going to take our chicken and we're going to do a little lemon over the top. So we're going to do like a little a wet rub, if you will. Now, if you want to, you can let these sit a little bit, and that would be going to marinate because the acids are breaking down the gotcha. tissues and working in. But we're going to add our nice little citrus twist, and that's sodium-free, fat-free, cholesterol-free. Are we getting any on you, Freddie? I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. It smells yeah, like that. Isn't that great? Yeah, absolutely yeah. wonderful. So that, that's one way to do a nice little rub, and we're going to get those on our, uh, I guess I have to do that right now. Or, you got it. Or get out of the house, or get out of the... Uh, <laughs> Outhouse. That'll be good. So that's mix you're mixing up the hickory and the apple, correct, sir? I got the hickory and the apple on top of there. Right. Absolutely right. So we're gonna get those on top of there. So that's one way to do a nice little wet rub. A second way we're gonna do the wings, and we're gonna cut a little heat on top of there. Okay. This is my favorite. This is a little chipotle Tabasco, and we're gonna put mm. the chipotle. This is Freddie's favorite. <laughs> yeah, right. So this is one that you might want to throw in the refrigerator after you get a little splashing on top of here to work that acid in of the vinegars and all the great little cayennes and the smoked jalapenos that are in here. But that's one way to get those. So we're going to rub those on top of our wings. That's and that's going, be, that's going to be delicious. And, and one of our, I'm going to take these mitts off. Yep, I'm right sorry. Here, here. 
Uh, so this is, if you get a whiff of this one, this is called garlic pepper. And that's exactly what it is. It's garlic pepper with some other great blendings of herbs and spices. So we're going to generously put some rubs over the top of all these nice little wings. Well, you can wings. smell that from here. Yeah, I, 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 it's just uh, amazing. I just introduced these to Freddie a little bit earlier, and I let you sneak a sniff or two, and he sneezed every time he took a little <laughs> whiff of that pepper, I'll tell you that. But I asked for more. But he asked for more. <laughs> So there's the, there's the wings. Now those right. are a little bit spicier wings. So we're going to get those babies on our mm. nice big Memphis grill. And I got that baby fired up. Boy, folks, the, I wish smell o vision was on because yeah, the aroma is really truth? good with those. You can really tell if that's all fresh. Got to have some thighs. So we got the thighs sitting there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, uh, tarragon, a little tarragon, a little vinegar on top of there. And that's going to add the flavor of the tarragon, the herb. The acid in there is the vinegar, of course. So we're going to break down the tissues a little bit. We're going to add some great flavor that way. These are all wet rubs. Dry rubs would be without any of the acids on top of there. I love the vinegars. I do a lot of grilling with Third vinegars. Third is pure Italian, and it really is pure Italian. It's everything, you, you, you swear you're at the best Italian restaurant in the yep, world. it's all there. Uh, eating the finest herbs and, and seasonings in the world. And we're gonna put a great little dusting on top of those, and we're gonna do a nice rub. There again, the suggestion would be to place these in the refrigerator. We just don't have that time today. And, Refrigerators weren't invented back in the old west, were they? <laughs> no, partners? they no, weren't, we're Sonny. You got a block of ice. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly right. Which only meant you had to drink your your bourbon warm. Yeah, that was terrible for Freddie. <laughs> and the last two, uh, the healthiest pieces of meat, uh, are the breast. And with that, I'm going to use our beautiful sunflower oil. Okay. And that's all a 100% pure organic sunflower oil. So that's a nice little coating of the oil on top of there both sides of the breasts. And with that, what else would you do? Hey, you better believe it. But healthy harvest. Yep. And healthy harvest is exactly what it says. It's got all the great little herbs and spices, uh, all sodium free, uh, nice beautiful blending. All four spices are totally different flavors, totally different. You can go to maddogandmerrill.com and learn more on those, maddogandmerrill.com. So we're gonna get these babies on here. Now because I lifted and closed the foot a little bit, I'm gonna take my Memphis grill and I'm just going to pump that baby up just a little bit more to about 565 and we'll let that fire up a little Okay, bit. sounds good. Sounds good to me. Well, you know, when you're out on the range, you know, you're sitting around the campfire. That's right. Got nothing to do. It's time to have some baked beans. <laughs> oh, I you love know, baked beans. Homemade baked beans are absolutely great. So those are your beans? Yep, those are the pinto beans. Now, we're going to enhance the flavor on this. They actually kick these for about three oh, or four hours. Oh, we're going to enhance the flavors. We're going to enhance the flavors. <laughs> now, what better way to enhance the flavor than our hickory barbecue sauce, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to pour that on there nice and thick. Now, you could use as much as you want to the sauce. It depends on how much flavor that you want of the hickory. But, of course, also, with all the time when you're doing beans, you got to have a little molasses. You know, molasses was a big thing back out west. Use molasses on everything. Pour that in there. Obviously, Freddie, you've got to have your favorite, some onions. Yep, I've been waiting for those. Can I just say that the sauces right now, uh, all our beautiful barbecue sauces are high fructose corn syrup free. Uh, we start out with a nice tomato base. Uh, so those are in the market. They taste exactly the same with all the great molasses and pineapple and everything else that we throw in there to create the nice flavors that we have. But they, we took away all that that the stuff that people aren't caring for now. That's right. So there We're you moving it. on. We're moving on. Yes, sir. We got a little bit of brown sugar. There again, go to go to your taste. What you actually like? I got I got a pound of bacon in this baby here, which is really going to add the flavor on that. I think I'm looking at about 20 pounds of bacon right back here. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> more yeah. than that right here. <laughs> Whoa! See that mustard? A little bit of mustard. Going to stir that up. Just simmer that on the grill. We'll wait and see what it's like at the end of the show there, so sir. So you're going to stir that baby up? Yep, I'm going to stir her up and put her back on. All right, when we come back, uh, we're going to have some great fun here. We're going to do some more Western cooking here with Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling at Dark Docks Harley Davidson. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Western version of Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we're having a great time here today. We're doing some Western style cooking. And what Western style cooking 
Uh, every once in a while we do a, a, our versions or different versions of the, the original beer brought brine. Right, exactly. And the beer brought brine we haven't done traditionally for a long time. So we're going to do that here today because we have new listeners everywhere, Freddie. Everywhere. Yes, we, do. we even have people in Sarasota, Florida. Did you know that? Sarasota, Florida, hey. this one's for you. Hey, welcome. You know who welcome else this on. is for? We, 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 Mary and I were at a, <laughs> yes. a, a nice little event. We make personal appearances. Uh, we were at a great little event the other day and we saw our good folks. They meet every Sunday. They get our television station from you good folks in Milwaukee at CW18, Super 18, Sunday mornings at 9.30. Check Mad Dog and Merrill's, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling for your local area to make sure you got it right each and every week, if you would, please. But our good friends at the End Zone. Oh, great people. In Sheboygan, they wanted to make sure that Freddie got the, the yeah. cozy. They wanted to see you, Freddie. I know that. I heard that. Let's see if that fits. Put it right in there, but don't drink it. <laughs> Put it in there, but don't drink it. How do you do that? I, can I know. Uh, okay, here it. we go. Yeah, we got right. some browned up bratwurst over here. You got to brown the brats up just absolutely wonderful. You want the flavor of the good bratwurst. We got those on the grill over here. So we're going to throw those in our nice little Ooh, cast iron good. skillet. Got a good eat, man. Get this is just Now, as we're doing that, uh, we were, I was at a nice little wedding. My daughter <laughs> Sage stood up at a wedding uh, for Chandel and Steve and, and Hillbilly Bob. Oh, he's a good guy. Man. Hillbilly, good Hillbilly barbecue. Bob did their barbecue there, the cook out there. And he had, he was doing chicken besides a couple of pigs. Hogs. <laughs> they, uh, and, 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 and he had a little spritzing bottle and it looked very much like this. So I'm assuming he had some sort of apple cider, apple juice in there, oh. similar to what I have. Our Memphis pellet grill, these babies are pumped. The grill is pumped, it's a smoke, and that's gonna be the best chicken you'll ever have mm. on the Memphis pellet grill, I'll guarantee you. So a little spritzing over there to keep that moving right there. Looking good. It is, the aroma is Brat just are browned up. Uh, number one ingredient besides the brats, of course you gotta have the sauerkraut. I'm gonna add the juice and all. You're yeah, doing we're gonna right. add You're peppers doing and right. onions, peppers and onions. Uh, a little bit of grandma hazels. Now there's where we're blending things a little bit differently, but that's got some nice herbs and spices to add a little flavor in there. We're gonna put a stick of butter on top. Now it's not Freddie's favorite, but I'm gonna cut up seeds and all, uh, one jalapeno, and I'm gonna throw that in there so we get a little blending of some heat For in there. Sure. And then the top ingredient, Fred, do you have that brewski of mine? Yeah, right here. Add it. Thank you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Freddie. You sure not drank it earlier, man. You blew it. So that's a nice little dark beer. I'm going to get the cover on there. We're going to put this back on the grill and let that blend together for about a half hour. But Freddie does deserve a drink. He does deserve a drink. Wow. You know, but I'll tell you, there's nothing like, you know, out on the range, sarsaparilla. That's We've it. got Twigs as butterscotch root beer. How do you beat that? I know. I'll tell you what, they've got a whole bunch of different types of flavors, just specialty drinks. But. Here's the latest kick, Freddie. You won't believe this. The latest <laughs> kick of people look out, it is bourbon and root beer, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, yeah. Freddie's going, okay, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I'll give you two shots on this. But you know what really gets me about on the Cowboys? How come they never wore short sleeve shirts? You ever notice that? Because of the dusty trail. Yeah, but cheesy Pete's. I mean, it's just. Uh, the trail of dust. Yeah, and then they always the sage had a brush blowing across the fields will hit you. Yeah, I guess. Let's well, so. get itchy. I think if you had oh. short sleeves, all that stuff blowing on you. Oh, for all right. Sakes. I apologize. There's Freddie's drink. <laughs> Bourbon and root beer. Yeah. What do you think, Freddie? Overrated? If it's from Shawano, Wisconsin. No, this is. It's so smooth. Is it? You know, oh, absolutely. I bet the way it is. This root beer is. Well, you'll taste some here. Give it a shot. There you go, oh, the sir. The root beer itself is delicious. But that is a big thing. Really, if you look on the front bourbon, it's bourbon and uh, bourbon and root beer. So is it worth it? Well, you've taught me something new again. There you, you go. There that. you go. Well, let's we'll finish the day off with all some right, more of All right, let's stir uh, Merrill's beans one time here. Yeah, we'll get those beans all stirred up. Those are looking they really, are really looking good. good. And when we come back, we're going to make a nice little western style slaw. All right, western slaw. Western slaw, you got to have a slaw. slaw. You got to have a little slaw in the west. I'm the, I'm the biggest slaw. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. Welcome to Mad Dog and Meryl's Midwest Grilling. We are the three singing cowboys. Howdy. 
Howdy, howdy. I went to school with old Susanna. Did you? Yeah, yeah, she wasn't very active. We called her Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan? <laughs> I got la Lazy Susan. <laughs> lazy Susan, she's at my house. In the kitchen. <laughs> in the cupboard. In the, no, down below in the cupboard. <laughs> Just checking. Well, you grab the bowl. Like <laughs> okay. Hey, partner, what are you going to be cooking? So, so, so one of our favorite salads at home is the, is the Oriental coleslaw. Yeah, right. So yeah, this is well. our version of, my version of Oriental coleslaw. And, and I've got the sugar in here, and we're going to add quite a bit of oil because we have to have a lot of oil in there, as much as sugar at least. Uh, and then, and then you usually put uh, um, vinegar in there. Right. But because we got citrus, and, and our citrus uh, a twist, I'm going to add some lemon in there, the best I can. Oh, that's doing pretty good. Yeah, isn't you're it? pretty strong, man. Getting the lemon in there. I think that's enough. One more. We won't even put the lime in there. We'll uh, just do the lemon. And then we're going to add instead of that. Rama noodle. Yeah. Uh, we're going to add citrus twist. Okay. And that's going to be just absolutely flavor. delicious. I love the smell of that stuff. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Now we're going to take and we're going to shake that baby up. So we have the slaw in there. Now we're not going to do the sunflower seeds and we're not going to do the Rama noodles crushed up. All right. <laughs> As for you, Louis Limburger. We love you, Louis. <laughs> it's for Louis Limburger. I hope he's watching. I hope he is too. At least Bruce. Yeah. So so okay. So here, let's mix that up. So that's our little salad mixing right there, and that's really good. That's going to be absolutely delicious. It really is. Freddie, would you pop that bag open for sure me? Sure will. Show the folks what it is. <laughs> well, first of all. It says jalapeno lime. So jalapeno <laughs> lime. Okay, now go. You know, they didn't say Japalino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to pound it. You're going to have to pop it. There you go. There you go. So instead of the noodles, I'm going to take it. I'm going to crush these babies up in there. Well, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be just absolutely delicious. So that's a jalapeno lime to go with our citrus. We're going to add a bunch of those in there, and I'm going to put that into a nice bowl. I just kind of made it in this little dish right here. Want to try those? Oh, uh, yeah. They look good. good. Got to be good. I won't even add those to it. Anyway, that's that's my version of a nice little slaw looks nice. here on the Western Trail, where it gets lonely. <laughs> where it gets lonely on the Western Trail. <laughs> now, Meryl, what do you got there, buddy? Oh, man. Those chips, I like those. All right. I'm proud to say of our new sauces out here, no high fructose corn syrup on either of these, which is very nice. I've been listening to our customers out there. Obviously, I've had some number one. I have some spicy, and then I'll tell you what, you can't go nothing with the work in the process. For you better believe it, that's, that's exactly what, what I'm going to do. Thank you, thank mm. you, thank you. Good, good, good. Tumbling good. along like that's a... <laughs> tumbling along <laughs> like an old sagebrush. That's what it is. Rolling down the hill, or rolling down the, uh, <laughs> the plain. Slowly I go down the plain. <laughs> well. Mm. Good, good, good. Got the sauces on there. Be actually a finishing sauce. Yeah, Use it for our dipping. Good, isn't it? I love the spicy. The spicy. Yeah, I, got, I, I hit a habanero in there. It's just absolutely delicious. Hmm. Obviously, we got the works for the brats. The works for the brats. The works for the brats. Yeah. All right, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Rolling. Really, when you come back, this stuff is gone. The whole array of beautiful food, Western style, here at Doc's Harley Davidson. Go to MadDogandMerrill.com. MadDogandMerrill.com. If you would please learn about all our great new products. But we will still be here. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. The beans came out great, sir. Little daintily little uh, pops, aren't oh, they? Oh, <laughs> man. Chicken looks great. The salad is wonderful. The nice dipping sauces over here. Looks like we got one empty bratwurst over there. I wasn't doing my job. Mm. So we browned up the bratwurst. We put those in a nice little beer brat brine. You can make your own little concoctions. Look but good. you always top it with the rest of the toppings from the beer brought brine. But here's what you have to have. Here's number one on the list, Mad Dog and Merrill's Da Works. Da Works. And it's got the sauerkraut, the onions, the horseradish mustard, and of course, a nice little tomato base in there. Oh, it's and good. And we're going to dish that over the top. Come on out of there. There it is. Beautiful sauerkraut. And that's the fresh all-in-one condiment. Freddie, are you a bratwurst man? You know I am, and I always use the works. And do, would you like a bratwurst right now? That's what I'm asking, I guess. Well, I've got to finish out playing at the end here, but I'll oh, take yeah, one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, the yeah, work yeah. That's right, you? you got to earn your salary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to have that. 
<laughs> so whether it's Western style, whether it's I'll Eastern steal style. A chicken leg in there there. <laughs> you can steal a chicken leg. Mira, would you like a chicken leg on stick? Yeah, I want a chicken leg, man. <laughs> gotta be good. It's gotta be good. A nice little smoky flavor on there. I can't remember what herbs and mm. spices we added that. Oh, Maybe wow. it's gotta be just absolutely wonderful. So what a great little Western meal that we created here today. Very good. Go to maddogandmarrow.com. Maddogandmarrow.com to learn more. Freddie, you might have to put that drumstick down and Play a little keys. Yeah, little get key. us out of here. Look at that. Right out out here. Here. Salary, man. That is great. <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lash Bro Visual Communications.